Keeping pace would be the surveillance study that has informed the Fit for Life program. Mostly my research focuses on children and their physical activity and their dietary intake and the behaviors surrounding those of children and youth in Nova Scotia, grade three, sevens and elevens. It's a provincially representative sample that we have and we've got information from. When I saw the drop in activity level between grade three and seven, it was like, oh my gosh, we've got to do something. I chose to focus between grade three and seven because if we can make a difference then, perhaps they will be more active later. They're not the only group to worry about. We of course need to worry about girls and then you know adolescents really as a whole because that's what our research is showing that they are the least active. This program now, the, the Fit for Life I have, I have a, between 30 and 40 kids coming each day after school. I have between 12 and 15 volunteers each day. We pick the kids, kids up from the school because then we save the parents the worry about transportation, how do they get here. This is actually considered a lab in my class, so I have access to the gym for an hour and a half. Um, we do it three days a week. We use the gym, we use the pool, we use the skating rink, we use the outdoors whenever it's possible, and we simply play low organized games. That's really what it is. It's not physical education. Physical education is its own class with its own curriculum. We play, we provide opportunity for movement. First we like eat snack, either fruit or veggies, and then we have a little bit of free play. If it's time, we go outside and play a few activities and then we come back in. And then we finish the day up with the, with the most favorite activities. You know, I believe you have to practice what you preach. So I should be out there with my students. We should be actively promoting physical activity and doing it. So that's what we do. Oh, I think they're enjoying the program. They like the interaction. They enjoy meeting university students. Some of them feel physically better about themselves. It's really about making them a little bit more comfortable and confident with themselves. I love speaking about the project and using the results and, and showing to my students that, you know, you have this evidence and this is what you can do as a result of it. This is how you should use, how you should let data inform what goes on in the community. I'd like to think I'm making a difference. I think the difference is not just for the children in the program, but it's in the fact that the university students are understanding it. To me, it's very important. I think it's not just um, eating right, but I think it's about like making decisions that make you feel good about yourself, and incorporating physical activity is a huge part of that. My students that go on to education often are making presentations about after-school programs based upon what they did, and I think that has the spin-off benefit of we might influence a lot more individuals. I love Fit for Life.